What's good, everybody? It's your boy Omar Eager here, aka the Luga, back at it again with another video, man. And today, 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 we are reacting to the beef between AMP and Nick Briz because we just reacted to um AMP Cypher 2022. If you haven't already, you guys should really go check out my reaction to it. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Bro, Kai and Phantom went crazy, but I ain't gonna lie. Some undercover people like just called Davis and AJ, they killed it. And Duke Dennis and Chris, you already know how they do, man. But anyways, before we get to it, you guys already know what to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, man, let's get to the video. Hey, my little baby boy, you know that? My little son. What you want for dinner tonight, son? But when he said what he said, I'm like, bro, you really got that? Are you really talking like that? That's why I said, bro, when I see you, I'm punching your shit. You talking out the side of your neck, so I'm gonna really show you, like, what the business is. Imagine talking shit. And then getting scared. What a baby. I reacted to one video, bro. And ever since then, brother, will not get off my nut. statement used on the internet for something that's usually unacceptable in normal society mm -hmm. but is excused because it is for the purpose of a YouTube video, Urban Dictionary. Yes, this was literally submitted by me. Urban Dictionary <laughs> hadn't updated their definition for content in like okay, five okay. years. So I just submitted this onto Urban Dictionary myself. <laughs> I'm dedicated. But the start of this I can see really you are dedicated. The misinterpretation of this one word. Defining what's considered content versus what's considered literal blatant disrespect can be mm. very tricky and can cause a lot of problems. In today's case, even in YouTube basketball, it can even get so bad that it can turn into a- Oh my. Oh my god. Okay. Not actually. Nah. Obviously, this is basketball, and we're talking about people who are extremely financially well off, like literally driving foreign cars with camel on it, living in mansions, diamond chains, sponsorships with clothing brands. So, like, you know, not south side chicago but you know what i'm talking about I think we got I know. one side being nick calling duke dennis every demeaning name you can yeah, possibly bro. think of really calling him a baby i'm pretty sure duke is bro bro nick man nick man i ain't gonna lie a lot of truth came out about you lately and it's not looking good for you man you were talking all that smoke but a lot of truth came out recently man a lot of truth well i want to say truth a lot of comments statements and people have quote-unquote evidence to go with to call receipts i don't know if it's true or not but yeah man it's not looking good i haven't really watched your content so i don't know what you do but older than nick and posting crap such as smoking on a duke dennis pack on his instagram story like he just finished a drive-by shooting how many packs how many actual packs am i smoking on right now it's just just the og dookie This stuff is actually wild, but this is literally over basketball. Yeah, bro, <laughs> but we got the wild. other side, being Duke, hearing this disrespect, and getting pissed off. Very understandably, because, you know, I would not want somebody who's not my father to call me their son either. Basic human thing right there. To the point where he's literally saying that he's going to punch the absolute Dude, why is there a dog sh out of this on on season. I thought it was for content at first. Yeah, yo, yo, what's up with the water filter, bro? Why are you trying to make it look like Duke I thought it was for content at first, bro. But when he said what he said, I'm like, bro, you really got that? Bro, you really talking like that? That's why I said, bro, when I see you, I'm punching your shit, nigga. You talking out the side of your neck, so I'm going to really show you, like, what the business is. The beef between these two is absolutely skyrocketing all over social media. Not Clips anymore. From different IG lives from both sides. Not anymore. Have been that beef is over a quiet times until well, different clips. And people the same back clips, again. like the exact same clips, all <laughs> uploaded a hundred different times on a hundred different channels. God. I didn't even know there was this. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah. XO Hundred ain't the you call Who got them out? I think Dante or Kai got them out of there, right? Like, they sent that nigga to the Shadow Realms. I don't know if he created a new channel, but man, on the internet. Like, it was what on the heck? Some of these clips are getting millions of views on TikTok and Instagram shorts alone, and the hype behind this has been crazy. Fans are absolutely going to war in the comment sections and repping right. which side they're on like they're Come on now. Armies. I literally saw somebody you in the comment section it. leak somebody's address. Like, what the f***? Is you dragging there, bro. You so, dragging it. How did this all start? It. How did Duke Dennis, who was probably just chilling on his truck listening to Rod Wave somewhere, find himself in a beef with Nick Briz? And how the f*** 
did this beef escalate so quickly to the point where they're literally talking Miss about Titan. punching each other in their face. It was that attack on Titan called scene? On PAX. Well, that is exactly what we're going to document in this video. Welcome to another episode of Doc Up. In this episode, mm. I'll be documenting the beef between YouTube celebrities Duke Dennis and Nick Briz. Before we get into this video though, if you like content like this, hit that subscribe button. I bring documentaries on hey, everything man. that goes on in the YouTube basketball community. We've already just hit 4,000 subscribers in just 4 videos. I can't thank you guys enough. Also hit that like button. It helps me on the algorithm and all that, which really goes a long way considering I'm just starting out. You can follow my Instagram and DM me anything that goes on in the YouTube basketball community. You guys can actually help me make these videos by DMing me everything that goes on. So hit up that Instagram, at DocUpYT. And a quick disclaimer so I don't get absolutely massacred in the comments. Oh my information god, yo, agent, why you always find yourself in a poster, bro? Duke Dennis show no respect to nobody when it comes to that basketball shit. God damn, my nigga state in this video is from youtube videos and articles that i gathered online do not take what i state in this video as law i am literally just a dude so obviously it would be impossible for me to know everything that goes on behind the scenes i just try my absolute best to put all the pieces together based on what's pushed out to the public without further ado let's get into this video i'm gonna start by introducing the main people involved in this beef first being duke dennis duke dennis is a youtuber who's massive on all platforms <coughs> he has over a million subscribers on his main channel and over 600,000 subscribers on his second channel he's known to really just be on his grind and stick with his friends and family he's also known to get hella women girls go freaking crazy for this dude like just look at his tiktok you rarely see him in any type of actual beef oh and he's from the hood so he doesn't really take this youtube beef stuff that seriously like i say where i'm from i don't really take too kindly the motherfuckers just saying a whole bunch of crazy shit when i ain't never said nothing to you there's real beefs going on down here but that motherfuckers is dying over nigga i'm finna beef with nobody that i don't even know over the fucking internet he's also a part of a youtube group called amp arguably yeah. the fastest growing youtube group on the planet right now in my my personal opinion of the best YouTube group out right now. I'm gonna try not to be biased in this video. That's just my personal opinion. I do want to be transparent about that though. Oh my god, I know just started a war in the comment section. Yes, I know RDC World exists. Yes, I know Two Hype exists. Yes, I know freaking I don't know Phase exists. Like live live. My personal opinion, Bruh. which also has a million subscribers on its own. This group okay, consists man. of six members: Duke, Kai, Kai, Davis, Phantom, Agent, and Chris. But the main people who are involved in this beef are Duke and Kai. Although AMP has enough people for a fives game, AMP yeah. doesn't play basketball as a collective at all. They make videos on basketball from time to time, but they are more of like a TV show content creator like yeah. group, and most of their content doesn't involve basketball, so they mm -hmm. don't take basketball that serious. Very this chill, is very be important chill group rest of the video so remember this on the other side nick is probably the hardest basketball youtuber on the planet right now Real mm, not anymore man not anymore man he, he sent himself to the shadow realms that no 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 that nigga sent himself to the i right, let me try i'm making corny ass joke that nobody gonna understand because none of y'all watch pokemon if y'all do shit put it in the comments y'all did watch you girl put it in the comments because i know we're not i'm not gonna lie 90 percent of y'all don't know what but real quick, hey, 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 hey. most popping. It does not mean attraction. I had somebody in the comment section try to say I was calling Nick cute, and I was like, what the heck? Like, how do you possibly huh? not know that? Back to the video. Currently, That's a young he has kid. over 600,000 subscribers. Bro. He's averaging over 1 million views a video. This is the most views per video in the streetball industry right now. And honestly, Nick is known to be a hot as a video. Yeah, this is the bro, most look at that. I'm going to whoop your... Views you per see? Video in the he antagonizes you know. right now. And honestly, Nick is known to be a hothead. Not trying to knock his grind or anything because obviously it's working. But Nick is known to just completely come after everyone who's anyone and always talk trash. And listen, Devontae can get the smoke any day of the week. Let's mm. say something real quick to T-Jazz. Fuck you, pussy. Mikey Williams, if I saw you in real life, I would slap the fuck out of your face, boy. Nick is actually Thanks. a basketball. Yeah, he's a real life troll, bro. I th what year was this? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I feel like he got in There's not one with it, but I feel like he got that 6 9 energy for no so reason. And we know what happens. Ain't basketball no more. very seriously. Every basketball game is pretty much a war to him. Hey, 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 my name like that, right? And he also assembled a team of his own that he calls the Savage Squad. This team is known to just absolutely torment whoever they play against mm. and just completely break them down with their trash talk. Nick tends to call out everyone in the YouTube basketball industry, so it's only a matter of time before Nick and AMP will cross paths. Or, okay. at least, only a matter of time until Nick will call them out. And that is exactly what happened. So now we got the introduction out of the way, what you're here for. Let's get into this beef. Thanks, man. Weirdly Let's get enough, to the it. start of this beef actually didn't involve Duke at all. It all started July 20th, 2021. Kai, Duke's friend and fellow AMP member, reacts to one of Nick's videos when he's playing yeah. too hype and says this. Hey, child. I'm a body slam you, bro. He said, hey, child. I'm a body slam you, bro. But hey, don't forget, Chris is from New York. I don't, well, 
I'm from New York as well. I don't know how everybody else does it. But oh, man, I that see. Is disrespectful. Hey, key. niggas is not talking to me like that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't get. No matter if niggas see it as content, there's always that little group that see it as embarrassing. If you think yeah. you about to say that to me. But don't. But obviously they playing basketball, so the only way to you gotta make sure he don't say that again is simple. Play ball. You gotta beat them. If we can do some ankle breaker, take his ankles, shoot a three something. Like, come on, man. I ain't gonna lie. This was A and P. I'm keeping a stack with y'all. It would have been a fight a long time ago. If this is just strictly about basketball, it is strictly about basketball, bro. We'll literally tee up. He will literally say, pass me the ball and not pass it. Yeah, he gonna care. He gonna be on his Kobe shit? <laughs> But well, we, we would never play these niggas. Some of Nick's fans see Kai say this and immediately sprint over to Nick's DMs to share this clip. Straight instigating. Just yeah, straight. Yeah, bro. In. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Some of the YouTube fans are, I don't wanna say toxic, but bro, y'all be starting unnecessary drama, bro. Unnecessary drama. I think they were trying to start a drama between, what's it called? What's his name? I'm Dante and Corey Kenshin, right? Cause Corey, uh, Jacob, I'm done to was talking blah 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 blah, and then somebody said, "Oh, Corey can't re reach ten million. And I'm done to was so tight that uh, Jacob, it, he was so tight at that comment because he was uh, Jacob, he lost his train of thought. He's like, "Yo, I don't care about that And then he said, "Yo," and then everybody ran with it. I'm like, "Bro, it's not that serious." Instigating. Upon being notified, Nick immediately hops on his Instagram to respond. Silly, funny, like they, I guess that's what they're going for is like silly, funny approach. I don't know the little things I'm hearing going around, bro. But if y'all want the fives, then run me my fucking smoke and we'll embarrass you guys. We'll fuck you guys up. We'll end you guys, your guys' five on five basketball YouTube careers. Go spam all their fucking pages. Tell them I want the fucking smoke. So obviously, mm. Nick's teed up. I'm not gonna lie though, the fans probably instigated this like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if fans were just straight cat to Nick's Instagram DM saying like AMP like talk trash about his mom or something like that just yeah, to get a bro. reaction because yeah. there really wasn't yeah. anything wild at all that Kai said but regardless from the information that Nick was getting nothing that was yeah Nick's he didn't response. say anything disrespectful he didn't say nothing disrespectful he just said yo if anybody tried to sun me like that I, I, I would definitely take offense to it that's all he said so after hearing this, fans then go and sprint over to Duke and tell Duke that Nick was talking trash about a &P. Instigating once again. <laughs> fans have so much power, it's crazy. Keep in mind, at this point in time, Duke doesn't even know that Kai did that reaction. Throughout all this, he was probably just chilling somewhere, like minding his own business. But Duke hears about all this commotion about Nick Briz from the fans, and he proceeds to go on Twitch Live to address whatever the ruckus is. He says this. First things first, bruh, AMP don't know Nick Nim, and Nick Nim don't know AMP. The two parties don't know each other. But out of nowhere, Nick hit me up on Instagram. Okay, he was like, hey, dude, trying to run a 5v5? I'm like, I don't have a squad, bro. AMP don't hoop, bro. I'm the only hooper in AMP. Chris fucking got a torn ACL. Kai 35 overall. Phantom a 38 overall. <laughs> I'm weak, bro. Nah, that is disrespectful, bro. That is disrespectful in a funny way. Nigga said, nigga said Kai at 35 overall. To go Phantom at 38 overall. Chris God Buckley damn. got a torn ACL. Kai 35 overall. Phantom a 38 <laughs> overall. Agent a 60 overall. And Davis is a goddamn 71. It's certain shit. I'm weak, bro. Hey, I don't. Yo, he respect Davis well on his basketball skill because he gave him a 71 compared to everybody else, bro. Shout out to Davis. Shit you man. say and you say it's certain shit you don't say when you when you hoop it. And I don't, like I say, I don't know Nick them at all. If they was to say the wrong shit, then it wouldn't be about basketball no more. I ain't finna be disrespected by some niggas that don't even know. I was like, hey, look, but my, my dogs don't hoop. After just roasting the crap out of the rest of AMP's overalls, Duke essentially declines Nick's offer to play. But there's more. Now, here's a weird part right here. So, silly funny, like they, I guess that's what they're going for is like silly funny approach. But we will fuck you guys to you in a game of real basketball. We'll fuck you guys up. We'll end you guys, your guys' five on five basketball YouTube careers. Go spam all their fucking pages. Tell them I want the fucking smoke. Real quick, the chat is just absolutely berating Nick this entire time. Like, this stuff is literally army. Like, this is, this is an army right here. It's kind of crazy to see this. Each one of these people commenting is an actual person. But back to yeah, bro. Yeah. people in AMP talking shit go spam all their pages with my name. Run me my fives. Number one, the chance that anybody in AMP was talking shit about them is highly fucking unlikely, bro. So obviously Duke is oblivious about what just went on with Kai's reaction. But the chat Yeah, but Kai didn't talk shit though. Kai did not talk shit though. That's the thing. Kai did not talk shit. All he said, 
if he tried to sun me, it probably would have been a fight. Or what you call Duke would have been like, yo, give me the boat and I'm going to go do my thing. That's all he said. He didn't say nothing disrespectful. He said if they tried to disrespect us like that, we would respond. That's literally what he said, bro. I ain't going to lie. Y'all niggas are dragging it. Y'all dragged it by eight. Is quick to instigate and inform him on what's going on. In other words, the chat straight snitched on Kai. Just straight snitched. But Kai, Kai did, even though they snitched, but Kai did not say anything, what you call fucking violating or anything, bro. Just threw bro, him That's under just the me bus. personally. I'm not Maybe. Lie, when Duke found out, it was freaking hilarious. I, can I know it wasn't me, and I know it wasn't Kai. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. But Since Kai didn't was But Kai didn't talk trash though. That's the thing. Kai. <laughs> Kai was definitely trolling. So I can definitely understand why some of y'all weird ass niggas went back and was like, uh oh, AMP versus then woody woo. Now look, all of this is definitely y'all fault. Y'all niggas know, brother. Whatever Kai said, the nigga was trolling. Essentially, Duke says it's obvious that Kai just be joking around and that y'all fans are some instigators. And he pretty much implies that everyone just wants to see a fight. This mm -hmm. reminds me of when you're at school and like two kids start yelling at each other in the halls and everybody gathers around them. And then there's those kids that are like, you just gonna let them do that to you? Or what let that happen yeah, to me bro. though? And like, you know, all that. Just try Me personally, I wouldn't let that disrespect slide. That's the new phrase of words nowadays, bro. Me personally? I wouldn't let it slide. Trying to get them to fire off on each other for their amusement. But after calling this behavior weird, Duke goes on to address what Nick said. In he stepped on your sneakers? Damn, bro. Me personally? <laughs> Video. All right, let me stop. Now, let me stop. Let me stop. Since my dog did say something, I really didn't like what he said right here. Silly funny? Like, they, I guess that's what they're going for is like silly funny approach. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. AMP, man, look, we on top, baby. It ain't nothing like, I guess that's what they going for, silly, funny nigga, bro. We the motherfucking best group out here. We running shit, you know what I'm saying? We we doing our motherfucking thing, so don't try to sugarcoat, don't try to downplay nothing that we got going on. Like I say, I don't, I don't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Again, me no harm, then that's what it was. But boy, from the, from the looks of it, from the sound of it, kind of sound like you were trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, AMP, we doing our shit, you know what I'm saying? We in our own lane. And to be honest, bro, it ain't nobody really fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, goddamn, you stay in your lane, we'll stay in all. Essentially, Duke said, hey now, I feel you, but don't be disrespecting us. You trying to downplay what we do, and I don't like that. You stay in your lane, and we'll stay in ours. He then goes on to admit that Nick's team would beat AMP, and also say a couple things back to Nick. If Nick them heard that AMP was talking shit, we wasn't. But it ain't no doubt that them niggas would beat us in basketball. We don't fucking play basketball, bro. Hell, y'all take basketball that serious. Goddamn, go try out for G League and the D League and the NBA. And got y'all should have went to college. And mm, yo, dude, I ain't gonna lie. You kind of dragged it a little too far there, my guy. Y'all care about basketball that goddamn much. <laughs> he ends it by commenting Jeez. everything cool in the comment section. And he probably just assumed that it would be over just like that. So Nick hears about Duke's response and proceeds to post this on his story. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The fact that he was talking all that shit, right? And then he he had the audacity and be like, yo, we didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing about AMP. So I don't like, bro, come on, man. You know what you did in the past. Don't act like you didn't. Obviously, we don't <laughs> obviously we don't like when the past come back to hunt us, but don't act like you never did anything for AMP to be on you like that. I'm just saying. God damn. But nah. July 20. Oh, what is the beef with Seven, 2021. A couple days later, Duke and Kai are just chilling on street. The Nick Bridge situation comes up and they just laugh about it. They're obviously not worried about it and they're just doing their own thing. Chat, was I talking shit or was I giving my general opinion? I was saying, these niggas is bugging. They can't speak to me like that. Like shit like that. Oh, yeah. Like shit like that. Like, I, I was like, yo, if, if that was us, then like, nah, I'm saying shit with the way you left, but. Ain't no smoke. Do I look like a ball player? Now fast forward two <laughs> days to July 29th, 2021. Nick oh, is look like a ball Yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> look at this thing of Duke laughing like we know he's not a ball player. Now fast forward two days to July 29th, 2021. 
Nick is just chilling on the IG live about to grab a Big Mac and his fans start asking him about AMP. He proceeds to say this. AMP doesn't want smoke, bro. I've talked to them guys. They say they don't want any smoke. I think they're like nervous or something. Duke and AMP ignore these shots completely and everything seems to blow over for an entire month. Everything is calm between both sides. It clearly, they clearly say what you call they don't play basketball, bro. They clearly, AMP clearly said they don't play basketball, but yeah, he keep mentioning they don't want no smoke. Like, come on, man. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. As you would think that is all over. Well, that is until Nick starts wilding again. August 13th, 2021. Nick goes on his Instagram live to promote his upcoming game against Cam Wilder and decides hey, to bring up the whole AMP hey. situation. I ain't gonna lie. Keep in mind, this I fuck with the background music, bro. That shit kept me active. I'm so focused on the story with the background. I'm like, okay. It's like a month after those whole first Shut interactions. Bro, hey. these dudes are amp, bro. Talking hey, like hey. a month back, bro. I've seen people sending me screenshot DMs saying we suck as shit. I DM Duke, Dennis, whatever the fuck his name is. Told him, what's up, bro? Let's play. And then he. Bro, 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 bro. You already acknowledged that they don't want to play. And yet you, you brought it back up again. Oh, not only that. Yo, I just realized something, right? He let it blew over for a month, maybe two months, and then brought broke it or you call brought it up back in the <laughs> brought the past back, right? You call mentioning A and P again, and then wonders why A and P did a diss track on him when you the one that brought the past back in the first place. Like, come on, man, do the math, bro. He reply back, and he's like, "But we don't hoop like that." The fuck you talking for there, bro? Don't say shit then. That's weird, bro. That's fucking weird, bro. Duke responds to this again on his IG story, saying this. Bro, I done told this nigga already, bro. Phantom don't hoop, bro. Kai don't hoop. I don't give a fuck about hooping, so I don't know why the fuck this nigga still got our name. But he don't know how to dig hard. But if the <laughs> nigga want to hoop that bad, tell the nigga he should have made it to the NBA, bro. <laughs> Go overseas Damn. or something. Now, this clip from his Instagram story was Damn. absolutely... He said, Go overseas. Violence. Getting over a million views on TikTok and over half a million on YouTube shorts. When this blows up all over the internet, Nick responds back with this, obviously pissed out of his mind. Imagine talking shit and then getting scared. What a baby. What a baby. Baby boy, you're my little baby boy, you know that? My little son. What you want for dinner tonight, son? Yo. He clearly said, yo, I don't, I, I don't think Nick is listening, bro. I don't think Nick back then was listening because he literally say, my team don't play or my group do not play basketball. So how, how are you going to ask us to play ball when you know we don't play ball? Kai don't play ball. Phantom don't play ball. Like, come on. I ain't gonna lie. Who knows? Maybe in the future we might see A and P get better. Jacob get better at playing ball. They might get. I don't know. AJ out here doing his thing, doing his boxing thing. I see. Almost him. overnight. Maybe he trying to participate with K. Jacob in the boxing competition. <laughs> the boxing match between KSI and what's his name? Alex Wasabi. Maybe he's trying to get on, on that boxing thing. Who knows? The beef just explodes again, and everyone is talking about it. Even mm. Carlos, one of Nick's teammates on the Savage Squad, chimes in on the whole situation. What you gonna do with Duke Dennis? I even, don't even play basketball. You only play football. The worst team you got, you got the rest of the AMP. Well, apparently Carlos got confused and thought that Duke was already set to play against them and was gearing up with TikToker Cam Wilder, which just wasn't happening. Like wasn't happening at all like there was never once said that duke was gonna be playing with them like i don't know where he got that impression at all but nonetheless that's what carlos had to say <laughs> mm -hmm. now throughout this week nick what just happened? starts absolutely wilding on duke on his instagram i'm talking yeah, about bro. literally wilding he posts photos calling duke his son multiple times and then he goes on instagram live with a gigantic blunt simply for the purpose of calling duke a female dog bro There's a one thing I want to tell you guys, right? Very, 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 very important thing. One thing is on the same. Duke Dennis, you're a bitch. Oh my bro. Look at literally, bro. You create drama for so long and yet you surprise when that drama come back and bite you, man. Oh man. Man, I ain't gonna lie, and especially YouTube drama too, bro. That should be getting messy. DMs be getting leaked. Freaking photos be out there, like, bro. Any, like, bro. 
Bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah. The next day, Duke responds once again on his Twitch live. He says he's never reacting to another Nick video again. It says Nick just won't get off his nutsack. Listen, bro. I will never react to another Nick Grizz video, bro. I reacted to one video, bro. And ever since then, bro, the nigga will not get off my nuts. Like, the nigga will not get off my nuts, bro. I found out he was weird. I seen he weird as hell. He not my friend, I'm not his friend. I'm not reacting to his videos, he don't react to mine. We just mm. don't know each other, bro. It should be no reason why we should be saying anything bad about each other type shit. We don't know each other, all right? That's what I'm talking about. So who the fuck is NYC Carter? Essentially, Duke says Nick weird, and he said that they don't even know each other. Pretty sure he doesn't even want to entertain Nick anymore, and he just wants this whole situation to stop mm -hmm. because he doesn't see a reason why this is going on. But this is also Nick Riz we're talking about. The same dude who completely bit the absolute life out of Kenny Chow from giving him a bad ranking in a mock 1v1 tournament over an entire year ago. Yeah. So obviously, Nick isn't the type to just let things go. So fast mm -hmm. forward three days to August 25th, 2021. Nick starts wilding on his IG story again, and this time posts a photo shot graphic literally stepping on Duke's head. He took a ton more shots at Duke that got deleted, but this was the only one I could still find on the internet. Duke is obviously very disrespected by this, and he feels like this shot went far beyond YouTube Bro. content. Instead of trying to go back and forth Bro, through Instagram stories, Duke actually goes man. all in. He keep creating drama for himself, bro. I don't know. Maybe at that point in time, he just probably, yeah, he did say he was at the top of the YouTube, what you call a 5v5. So yeah, maybe that, that ego just he was just feeding that ego, bro. He was just feeding that ego that he thought he was unbeatable, untouchable. And then guess what? He got touched, man. He got touched. DMs him directly. Keep in mind, Instagram DMs are private, so he sends him a message that's only between him and Nick. I actually happen to have this message. And in this DM, Duke literally tells Nick that he's gonna punch him in his <laughs> Now, you might be wondering, yo, Daka, how the heck do you have the DM between these two? Aren't they it was leaked. private? Are you hacking them? It was leaked, bro. Come on. It's, it's YouTube beef, bro. Anything that relates to YouTube beef, bro, that means we got a 99, well, not 90, a good actually 80% chance of whatever you text whoever you beefing getting leaked bro whether you complimented them or you was getting like bro anything anything will get leaked well and that's no, the crazy I'm not hacking them and you would be right to say these are supposed to be private because they are the way mm -hmm. I got this is because Nick actually leaked these DMs like literally posted it on his Instagram story for 500,000 followers to see if you don't already know it's kind of an unwritten rule to never leak Instagram DMs especially yeah. amongst content creators or people with clout but Nick just said F that rule I exactly right you would think it would not happen but it happens so well, often so that it, it, just, DMs, it just becomes normal a message Duke back and call him a little boy and then he goes on his Instagram story to say that when he sees Duke in person he's gonna call cap on all of Duke's threats mm. I can't wait for two and a half weeks to go by and we're in the same room i'm gonna walk up to this man stick a camera in his face and say little dookie what you gonna do little boy i guarantee you he go oh dude we're at a fucking uh we're at a right now bro i can't, I can't do that shit, bro. now after this the tensions between the two fan bases yeah, got literally insane like i'm talking about if you saw this instagram story when it first came out you could dang your feel it in your body oh, okay i'm mm. exaggerating right now yeah, you this are exaggerating YouTube beef we're talking about everyone was just thoroughly entertained but just bear with me for the video <laughs> everybody and i mean every Everybody was tuning into this. Duke and Nick's mm. fan bases mm. absolutely went to war. And because both of these guys have diehard fan bases, the fans literally thought that they were fighting themselves. So yeah, tension skyrocket and all eyes are on Duke Dennis to respond. And he doesn't hesitate to do so. Duke hops on Instagram live to say this. Literally everybody in the YouTube industry was in this live stream and the chat was going crazy. Bro, like, I thought it was for content at first, but when he said what he said, I'm like, bro, you really got this? Bro, you really talking like that? That's why I said, bro, when I see you, I'm punching your shit, nigga. You talking that side your next one really imagine you have to explain something that you said in private bro that is crazy bro like, it's, some, it's something that's supposed to be between me and you and you you let like bro that is weird that is like weird. what the business is and the last thing i want is for me to have to fucking overreact and tell my homeboys hey pull up nigga it's y z you know what i'm saying this shit is weird bro it's a different line when it's youtube in real life mm-hmm I was, I was. You see, nobody gives a duck about your boy. Yo, this man here, bro. He be, he be starting dramas. It's called creating drama. Well, technically, he didn't start it. 
the freaking fan base started it and then he just went with it a little too much because if he did his background research and found the video on kai i don't think like literally based on the video if you watched it kai did not say anything disrespectful bro he just said if somebody tried to sun me like that i would not let it slide that's all he said and then if he did that tiny bit of research that beef would have been dead already but hey he probably wanted to continue the drama to continue people to watch his videos because probably i think yeah i think back then that's what that was the strategy right get getting drama and then get what you call mad people gonna start watching your shit waiting for your response to the person like yeah that's crazy though thank you but so duke can't see any of the comments of nick's posting mm. because he doesn't follow him on instagram mm -hmm. for some reason that's just how instagram live works i, I don't know why but that's just how it works but even though he can't see him, he proceeds to try to squash it by just talking to the chat. So he has no clue that Nick is literally just going crazy on him. It was never a beef for me, but hopefully you down to just like end all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah, I Yeah, apologize. For whatever I said, bro, I, I apologize. You know? Yo, bro. You, you see that, right? Hold on, my fuck, guys. You see that, right? Yo, he, bro, bro, you create drama for yourself and then wonder why people come back, why that drama come back and haunt you, man. You was talking crazy, bro. Sheesh, man, that is, bro. I know Duke Dennis probably watched the video back, like, yo. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, wildin'. All right, man. Right? Yeah. So Nick sees that Duke's apologize, tells him yeah. that Nick's talking crazy in the comments. The squash. I'm just trying to like, goddamn, you get this whole shit over with before I pull up with my homeboy. Stop saying this smoke, bro. There is no smoke, bro. Hey, I hope my fans don't be like, goddamn, sending that man no hate or nothing like that. That's weird too. So essentially, Duke gets his reasoning for why he said what he said, saying that he initially thought everything was for content. Remember that keyword from the beginning? Yeah. And he actually thought it was kind of funny at first, but he felt like Nick crossed the line. And so now, yeah, now he was just standing up for himself when he felt the disrespect went too far. And then afterwards, he apologizes for saying he was going to punch Nick in his sh and tries to just be adults and squash the whole thing. Ah, damn, bro. And then he was right there talking crazy in the comp, bro. Pretty much, because Duke was apologizing, Nick felt like he won the battle. This Instagram live then guess what a couple months later phantom kai amp cypher 2022 boom and that's what happened man but anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below for what you want me to react to next for more amazing content and we or